Hi everybody, I'm Sandy Sandler, the creator of the Bodabra Bowmaker, and I want to thank you so much for joining me today on my Bodabra TV show, which we do every Monday um, at 4 p.m. And as a lot of you who watch me regularly know, at the end of the show, we always give away a roll of our Bodabra scrunchie ribbon. And we have it in gold and silver and red. It's, I love it, it's a fun ribbon. In fact, I'm gonna make a really cute little Halloween headband using my Bodabra scrunchie ribbon. So I need some Bodabra bow wire. And someone on the lot, on the intro that we did asked where you can get the Bodabra bow wire. In these big rolls, you can buy them from bodabra.com or you can also get them at Michael's. So I'm just gonna take my wire and fold it in half. And what's unique about the wire, in case you're not familiar with it, is it's really, really strong, but it is a wire. So it, it's nice because it's really easy on your hands and you can cut it with scissors. So I'll just fold it in half and tuck it. Then I'm gonna take some of my scrunchie ribbon. And if you're not used to watching, all you have to do is say, I want to win. And you'll be eligible for the, um, eligible to win the scrunchie ribbon. Oh, here they are, I was looking for my scissors. So I'm just gonna cut a piece. And this is probably about a yard of the scrunchie ribbon. And I'm just going to scrunch it. Actually, before I start, I'm gonna actually put in this headband. And then I'm gonna scrunch my ribbon in. And hi, Edna. Oh, thank you so much, Edna, for sharing. And hi, Brenda. All you guys, thank you for watching, for sharing, for saying I want to win. And then what I'm gonna do is I have these tub this tubular mesh, which is about, these are about 15 inches long. I'm just gonna lay them in here. And I have two black ones and two orange ones. And I'm gonna take about another yard of my Bodabra scrunchie ribbon. And this is what you will win, is a roll of our scrunchie ribbon. And I'm just gonna scrunch it down in here. And that's it, we're just scrunching it. Hi, Regina. Thank you so much for joining me, you guys. And for everybody that shares, I really appreciate it. And next week, we're gonna have Nick back doing some holiday decor projects, which is always fun. So just scrunch everything in. Then I'll take my Bodabra bow wire. And what I love about it here is I'll just pull it through my slip knot, hold it tight while it's still in the Bodabra, take it out and pull it through. So this is kind of a fun little last minute Halloween headband. And it looks like a spider. So just tie that on. And it's fun if you have the kids, a bunch of kids over, because these take like a couple seconds to make. And then I'm just going to let everything, so it's just kind of like a spider. It's a cute little headband, and it kind of just like pops all over. So hi, Gail. Hi, Christina. Hi, Cassandra. You guys, isn't that fun? So super simple and super easy to make. So now I'm gonna take, I'm so excited. I have, we have, um, we're a brand ambassador for La Ribbons, the L-A-R-I-B-B-O-N-S dot com is where you can see. And they, we're gonna be using their ribbons, but these are some of the holiday ribbons. I'm just gonna give you a little preview that they have, I'm sure, on their website. So they're just kind of really pretty. And I love this little penguin one. Anyway, so I'm gonna put these aside and I'm gonna use their Halloween ribbon and we're gonna make a hair bow. We're gonna make a couple hair bows actually. So I have this ribbon is cut at about 34 inches and it's a one and a half inch wide ribbon. So I'm gonna make a boutique bow. So I'm folding my ribbon in half. I'm gonna take the right side of the ribbon and put it down into my big bow dabber. And you can do this in the mini as well. So again, I'm gonna take the right side and put that down. And so now I have like a loop. And then what I'm gonna do, and this is how you would make a boutique bow. So I'm gonna fold this back over and make an X. So I'm gonna take the right side of the ribbon, put that down into my bodabra. So I have, now I have an X. And then I'm gonna take the bottom loop and scrunch that. And in the middle, what I'm doing is what we call a little mountain up. So I'm doing a little mountain up crease because that way it gives you the shapes of um, the bow without having to sew. 
And then I have this really cool, again, this is another La Ribbon and the little cats. And this one is three eighths of a yard. So I'll take the right side of the ribbon. Vivi, are you getting, I knew you were gonna start talking because all day today you stayed away. So Vivi is, we have, I have Remy and Remy's sister. So Remy's sister is gonna go over and pet Vivi if she'll let her. And then again, take the right side of the ribbon and put that down. Then come back over here and scrunch the middle down into my bodabra. And then all I'm gonna do is, of course I forgot to put my wire in. Now with this, I'll just remake this bow because it's so simple. So you guys, oh my gosh, I'm sure somebody was telling me Sandy put the wire in and I didn't listen. So now I'm going to, and Remy didn't tell me put the wire in. <laughs> so I'm gonna fold this in half and lay my wire down into my bodabra. And I'll go a little faster on this one, or if you're just joining us, you'll be able to see again how I made it. So I'll take the right, I'm folding it in half, taking the right side of the ribbon, and I'm doing my little mountain up and just scrunching it in. Then I'm gonna fold it over, take the right side again, and scrunch that down in. Thank you for sharing, everybody who's sharing, you guys, I appreciate it so much. So let's scrunch this down in here. And then we're gonna make, in a, and then I'm taking my bottom loop and I'm gonna scrunch that down in here and then taking this top loop and scrunch that in. And you know what, um, 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 Tessa, do me a huge favor. Right where Vivi's head, right above her head, there's a drawer. If you go in that drawer, there should be some treats. And I hate to reward this behavior, but <laughs> take the right side of this. And this ribbon, again, is 14 inches long. Scrunch that down, bring this around, take the right side and scrunch it in. Come back over, scrunch it in. So we're gonna make one more really cute little hair bow, and then we're gonna make some fall bows for your wreaths and your centerpieces. But I wanted to use this really fun um, La Ribbon ribbon. I'm gonna pull it really tight, pull it out. Hi, is it Leonor? Leonor from Alabama. So, so yeah, let me know you guys where you're, where you're writing from and then for the next couple videos, what you would like me to demo. So I'm just gonna take a, a ponytail holder for this one and just pull this through. And this is what I like about our Bodabra wire is you can just tie it onto everything so easily. Then I'll just knot it and then I will clip my ribbon. I mean, my, not my ribbon, my wire. You'll see that I'll interchange loops with bows and ribbon. And we're just gonna bring this apart here. And you have this really cute little hair bow. So I'm gonna put this one aside. And now we're gonna get started on, oh, Terry, you did make it back. I wasn't sure if Terry was gonna make it back in time. So, and just so you guys know, don't forget, at the end of the show, we're gonna pick a winner for a free roll of our Bodabra scrunchy ribbon. So we have it in gold and red and silver. So I'll take my Bodabra bow wire, and this time we're gonna use a mini Bodabra. I'm gonna take my mini, and I'm gonna make a cute little hair clip using the La Ribbon. And I'm gonna fold my wire in half. And everybody asks me how long the wire is. I never really measure it. I just make it so that when it's folded in half, I can tuck the ends underneath so it stays out of my way. Um, so now I'm gonna fold this ribbon in half and then take, this is the right side of my ribbon. I'm gonna push this down into my mini bodabra and do my little mountain up. Then I'm gonna bring this back around, take this here, and scrunch that in, and then bring this back over and scrunch this in here, and then take the bottom loop. So I've, you can see I have an X here. So I'm gonna take my bottom loop, the center, and I'm doing my little mountain and scrunch that in, and then take my little mountain and scrunch it in here. So you have this perfect little boutique bow. And then I'm just gonna take my piece of the really pretty La Ribbon candy cane and scrunch that in. Then bring it back around and scrunch it in here and scrunch that in in the middle. And you know what? I cut this too long. So I'm gonna make it a little bit shorter. 
right, so I've changed that. This is 18 inches and this is eight inches now. So I'll take the right side, scrunch that down in here. Susan, thank you so much for sharing all you guys. I really appreciate, especially this time of year when you share. And scrunch this in here. Then I'll take my mini wand and just give everything a good push. And we're gonna make this into a little hair clip. So I'll pull this through. And of course, for any season, you can make it just use the ribbon of the season. So I'll, and I, what I love is it's so easy to make these bows in Modabra, but you can make them for little girls. They're also, what I love about the little bows is you can also, they're great for hair bows. They're great for puppy bows. So now I'm gonna take, now these um, I buy pre-covered so I don't have to cover them because I'm, I can't do it as nicely as these and they're so inexpensive. So what I'm gonna do is just take the wire and I'm just gonna bring this wire through here and I'm just gonna wrap it around and open this up and just kind of wrap it around a couple times and do it tightly. So I just wanna show you guys how to tie these on. And then what's really cool is you can um, definitely, and I'm just gonna bring this around this side and bring it back around and bring it around one more time and bring it back and then bring it underneath. And so what I'm doing here is I'm just taking um, the, the ribbon and now I'm just gonna tie my wire. See, I told you I interchain ribbon and wire all the time. Bring it back over here one more time and tie it. And this will be very, very secure as a hair bow on your clip. So, um, oh, you guys, thank you so much for joining me and watching. And, you know, let me know what kind of projects you'd like to see me create for the holidays. So then you have this really cute little hair clip. So super simple to make. So now we're gonna go on to, so like we made three, four hair bows in like 15 minutes because I gotta count the one I had to do over again. So now I'm gonna make a really pretty little fall, um, like fall decor project. So I'm gonna use my big bow dabber for this. And I have this really pretty, it's a lace. Wire. Sorry? Wire. Oh, thank you, wire. Thank you, Remy. <laughs> See, I need people reminding me. I get so excited making the projects that I forget to put the wire in. So I'll fold my wire in half and lay that down into my bodabra. And then I have, this is a five inch, I think it's a five inch wide, it might be four, it's a four inch wide. And it's four inches by a yard. And I'm just gonna fold it in half and just lay it down into my bodabra. And it's just a really nice little burlap. And this could be a wreath bow, or it could also be wrapped around, um, like around a vase or something or as a, on a table as a table runner. So these are, um, let's see, these are one, two inches wide by 21 inches long. I'm just gonna lay this in here. And then I have, this is just our Bodabra rhinestone and I just cut it in half. And I have 13 inches here and I'm just gonna lay that in and then I'm gonna lay this one in here and then take one more piece the same. And then I have these two pieces. Now these were just scraps. So what I love about Bodabra is all of your scraps you can reuse. So these are 24 inches wide. And actually first I wanna lay in my flower, my sunflower. And then I'm gonna just take the right side of this ribbon, put it down, bring it around, take the right side again, lay that down in and then just scrunch this in. Hi, Lisa from Indiana and Donna from Georgia. Thanks, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. And this is the same 24 inches. Take the right side, put that in, bring it around, and again, take the right side of the ribbon, put that in, and then we're just gonna make a little loop. So you can see we're doing pretty much the same kinds of loops for our hair bow. And then this is just a scrap four inches wide, by 11 inches long. Just lay that in here and then take my wire, which wouldn't be there if Remy hadn't reminded me. 
and I'll just pull that through. I'm gonna hold this down, and you could use your wand here or not. For this one, I didn't think I needed that. So I'm just gonna pull this. Hi, Lisa. Lisa, we have Lisa Belmar and Lisa Brown. So hi to both Lisas. And thank you guys so much for Susan. Thank you so much for sharing. I just really appreciate when you guys share. And this is Bodabra time of year. So you guys are like my marketing department when you share for me. Um, and then bring this around. And so I really, really appreciate it, big time. And you know, people ask me where they can get the Bodabras. You can buy them at Michael's. You can get them from us at bodabra.com or you can get them online at amazon.com or um, walmart.com and Hobby Lobby, and I know you guys all know. Hi, Liz, and let's see, who else do we have here? Lisa, Cassandra, you guys, thank you so much. So isn't that pretty? And I think this could be really pretty on a wreath. It also could look real pretty as like a table runner. Let me bring the flower up front here, as sort of like a, um, as a table runner. So there's a lot of different ways you could use this bow. So. Now I'm gonna go on and we're gonna make a huge bow right now. I'm gonna put this aside and we're gonna make a really big fall bow. And I'm gonna start with this one because I'm gonna to have to stand up. So I have here, let's see, we've got about one, two, three, and four. We have about four yards and I believe this is a, nine inch wide ribbon, but let me double check. Yes, nine inches. And it's just a really loose, little shimmery burlap fabric, not wired. So I'm gonna start by taking my right side, put that into my bodabra. Then I'm gonna fold it back over and make a loop here. And I'm gonna have to, I need to twist it because I wanna make sure the right side of my ribbon is on the outside of my loop. So I'll fold this back over here and just scrunch that together, twist it, put it into my bodabra. Then I'll fold this back over and twist it and scrunch oh, that. Oh wait, I don't have the wires in. Oh my gosh, you're right, it's not. So we're gonna do this, it's really easy, we're just gonna cheat. And I just pull this up. You guys have to laugh at me every time I forget. I get so excited about the bow that I forget the wire. So let's, Vivi's getting talkative again. See, it's actually Viv Vivi's dinner time and she wouldn't eat earlier. So of course now's the time she wants to get fat. So the right side of the ribbon goes down. I'll fold this back over and I'm gonna twist it and scrunch it in and bring it back over. And I'm just kind of eyeing how big I make my loops, but this is gonna be a really beautiful, big fall bow. And what I love about this bow is I'm gonna be using a lot of scraps of ribbon that I had laying around. So let's fold this back over and twist it. So all I'm doing here, it's just a little harder ribbon to work with because it's very loose and big. So, and then I'm gonna fold it back. Did you just give her another treat? No. Oh, okay, it's like, well, she got good. <laughs> and then she's gonna be in every live that you're here. Tessa, Vivi's gonna be having, asking for treats, you guys. There she is again. No, Vivi, you are not getting another treat. She knows when she does the Vivi there is very, very quiet. So now I'm just gonna finish this and I'm gonna put the wrong side of the ribbon in. So we have just a really big loopy. And then I'm gonna bring this up here and I'm gonna have to make some room here for all of these little scraps of ribbon. And I'm just mixing and matching. These are about 28 inches. Well, you guys, it's live and I have a dog that's being persnickety at the moment. And then I'm just gonna lay this one in here. So this could be a really pretty like centerpiece bow but you're seeing I'm just kind of mixing and matching different lengths of ribbon. And I'm just gonna lay this in here. So I think it'll be really pretty when it's done. And so Donna, where in Georgia are you from? So now we'll lay this down here. 
and take another piece. So you can see all I'm doing, so this is an absolute for everybody who saves all their scraps. Even if you have like little shorter scraps, you can make a smaller bow. But the, I had some longer scraps here, so that's what I'm, that's what I'm doing. And then I'm gonna just have this blue that kind of matches in here. And I'll take another gold. And then I have these two pieces that are really pretty. So I just thought this would make a gorgeous, just a fall centerpiece or door bow. And just lay this down here. And then I have this piece. And with this one, I'm gonna make a bow just like we made um, before our boutique hair bow, it's 36 inches, and I'm gonna fold it in half and take the right side of the ribbon and put that down into my bodabra. Then I'm gonna fold it back over, take the right side and scrunch that down. And I'm gonna do the same thing where I take this and bring this over, make an X, and take the right side. I'm having to hold this because I've got so much in here and scrunch that, then take the lower loop and scrunch it down, then take the top loop and scrunch it down. And then I'll take my Bodabra bow wire, which again would not be in there if Remy hadn't reminded me. And I'm just going to hold everything down, pull it really tight while it's still in the Bodabra, pull it out. And now I'm gonna just separate my ends and don't forget, you guys, to say I want to win because we're going to be announcing a winner really soon. And then I'm going to just bring this back, tie a knot, which is, this is, again, why I love my wire because all I'm doing here is just double knotting it. And since I'm not sure how I'm going to use this bow, I'm just going to leave the extra wire so I can tie it onto something if I want. And then we'll just kind of crimp it and bring all my all the ribbon down around this way and bring these down and I'm gonna just fluff these out here and separate these. So you have just a really, really pretty, super, super simple to make bow. So hi Lisa, everybody that's on here, thank you guys so much for joining me. I really appreciated it. So now you have this really pretty, it could be a door bow, it could be a centerpiece bow, um, it would be a pretty enormous chair bow, so, but super, super simple. So now I'm gonna take this and put this aside. And we're just gonna make a simple fall bow, and I am not gonna forget to put the wire in this time. So I'm just gonna make like kind of a normal size. This could be a great wreath bow. It also could work for a tree topper bow. So all I'm doing here is I'm just gonna fold my wire in half and lay it into my bodabra. Then I'm going to um, take this piece and I'm, I just decide how big I want my tails. And I'm just gonna scrunch that. So I have, let's about, I'd say I have about a yard and maybe like five inches. But what I'm gonna do here for my tails before I start is I'm going to just cut and dovetail them so I'm folding it and I'm just cutting from the fold to the corner and that's how we get our really pretty dovetailed ends. So now I'll take this and I'm just gonna lay this right side up into my bodabra. And then um, I'm going to take, now I think my screen has frozen. So if Remy, when you see the winner, please let me know. So I, used to, I usually like to take about three yards and I, this is how, how I measure generally. So it's kind of like your nose to your end of your arm. And then all I'm gonna do here is just twist it and scrunch it into the bodabra. So the wrong side of the ribbon is always on the inside of my loops. So I'm gonna twist and usually the general rule and then I'm gonna twist and scrunch it in. And the general rule is um, fold, twist, scrunch. And we're just about to announce our winner, fold, twist, scrunch. And I'm just gonna keep doing that. And the general rule is if it's a wired ribbon, you can make your loops a little bigger. If it's a like a not a wired ribbon, it depends on how strong the ribbon itself is. 
Um, but you'll sometimes you might get really floppy loops. Oh, the winner is, oh my goodness, Chevlet. Oh my gosh, I am totally Finch. Chevlet, I hope Chevette, Chevelle. Oh my goodness, I am so, so sorry because I'm absolutely spelling your name wrong or pronouncing your name. And then now I want to do my little loop here. So I'm going to scrunch that down in there. So please PM me and let me know that you that um, your address so we can send you your free roll of scrunchy ribbon. So now I'm gonna pull this through. Now what I did at the end, I don't know if I explained that, is I made a loop a little smaller. So this is gonna be like my floral loop in the middle. So now I'm gonna just hold my bow, pull it tight while it's still in my bodabra. And this would be a beautiful wreath bow, tree bow, um, or for a garland on a mantle or for your stairways. And I'm just gonna tie a knot. And again, I'm not gonna clip my wire because I might wanna use it for something. And now I'm gonna primp and I start primping, let's sit back down here, start primping by just moving everything in opposite directions. And this bow has like four loops on each side plus the center loop. Bring my tails down. And you have this really super simple to make bow. So I want to thank you guys again so much for joining me today. Next week, I'm really excited to say that Nick will be doing the Bodabra um, live, but I'm going to start doing some pop-up lives. So because of the holidays and the season, I want to show you guys how to make all different kinds of bows. So please make sure you click the follow Bodabra button so you'll be notified when I go live. So I want to thank everybody again and we'll see you soon. Okay, bye.